when I was in Budapest, Hungary, 1944, and I lived on the 10th floor on the riverside, and suddenly I hear machine guns. And we open up the window, and we see truckloads of Jewish children crying, and they just pick up the truck, and they let the children to the Danube River. Just the river kept on taking them, and they drowned in the river. This is a long river going through all Europe, from Germany to Bulgaria to the sea there. When I saw this happening, I thought to myself, who knows if there are any Jews will be left if they massacre in the middle of a capital city in front of people, you know? How could we, how could we survive? I made a deal with God. If you keep me alive and I survive, I guarantee you I will reproduce those children to be religious and good Jews. When Chazal tell us kolas cholos koshos, all beginnings are difficult. We have to go back 50 years ago. In 1963, there was a small group of courageous individuals who felt that they wanted something different. When we came here, the religious Jewish life was very limited. Sidney Glick and I went to Belmont Avenue in Brooklyn, invited Rabbi Benjamin Kamenetsky. I brought my wife here with the children. I didn't have where to learn. So it was Mesirat's nefesh for for building. Father said, if you plant in the desert, it also grows. So he said, I promise you that this community will be growing and growing and growing. The Balabatim helped me get started. I made the, the girls' school and the boys' school. In 1963, Rabbi Kamenevsky approached me, we were very close, and said, look, Echo Esolovade, I cannot carry this burden. I said, so what do you plan to do? Take the girls' school off my shoulders, and I'll have the boys' school, and you take the girls' school. But I let the people know there's going to be a meeting to create a girls' school in Far Rockaway. And they right away named me as president of the new school, and Mrs. Eichen made a suggestion to call it TAG. Torah Academy for Girl. Tag was born on that night. And this was my tribute to the promise that I made Hashem, if I stay alive, I will build schools and make sure the children have a Jewish education. <laughs>